A family of eight has been staying with relatives and friends in Georgeville, Kyle, after the place they called home for decades went up in flames on Friday afternoon. Around three o'clock, a fire broke inside one of the bedrooms to the rear of this six-bedroom concrete house in the village. The blaze spread quickly to destroy the structure and its contents inside. Homeowner Zoe Labdia says that about five of them were inside the house, including her grandchildren. I mean, they are front, sit down. When I go in the bathroom, and I hear my granddaughter, the halfway aunt, and tell her, go back to see where, where smoke they come from. So when I hear that she said that, I come out of the bathroom, and when I go and come to the back to the back piece, I went to the room, but I couldn't get in the room because we done under blaze already. But my, only my grandson was there back there. But, so I don't know what happened. I don't know where he do. I don't know what happened back there, but he ran out from back there. News 5 has been reliably informed that one of the grandchildren was playing with matches and accidentally lit a mattress on fire in a room. The rooms to the rear of the building were occupied by Diaz and her son. Everything damaged in the back part. Me and my son lose everything we had back there because we stayed back. So as we close and things damage up and everything, lose everything back there. The fire department responded quickly to the area and firefighters got into operation and were able to contain the blaze from spreading to the front portion of the structure. By then, however, the entire roofing had been damaged and there was obvious water damage to household items. Anthony Diaz got the call shortly after the fire broke and rushed over from work. Along with residents, he was able to save a few items which are being stored at neighbors and relatives in the interim. He received burns to his face and hands. My brother got a phone call and said the house is on fire. We're quarter to four, so. And we take off from work, try to reach her. And by the time we reach her, the whole roof was on the fire already. The whole three rooms already burned out. So we couldn't do nothing until the fire engine came and try out, out the fire. And I saw it cool off and we continue to finish out it up. So you and your friends and neighbors uh, actually started to... Almost the whole village made out of the house, everything out of the house. Try to save it and save it. So these that we see here is all that was saved? And, everything. and something underneath there and some in my shop that I had there. Everything else lost? Everything else lost. Everything broke up when people couldn't take out in time. It was broke up, a plates, everything. Unfortunately, the house and its contents were not insured. Anthony Diaz is putting the estimated cost of the loss at about $100,000. The family is asking for assistance to get back on their feet. We are trying to do something for family members. I help somebody after this. We are doing it yourself, too. Dwayne Moody for News 5.